Family and friends gathered today for the funeral of Anthony Niboa. Anthony was only 20 years old when he was shot and killed in Seminole Heights nine days ago. News Channel 8's Gabrielle Shirley is outside of the Seminole Heights Methodist Church tonight to tell us about this emotional service. It was emotional, but it was also a beautiful service for Anthony. He touched the lives of many people in his short life, and today some of those people spoke at the service. The family sat in the first row. 20 year old Anthony Naiboa, a son, a brother, was stolen from the world by violence in Seminole Heights. Today, we learned he was more than a victim of violence. Anthony had autism, but still, he graduated from high school with a regular diploma. His father called him an inspiration. Well, I did not see Anthony sitting in the back of the classroom. I saw Anthony sitting right in the front seat of the class. So I felt like admiration about Anthony. His father told us Anthony wanted to be his best self. His teachers saw it too. Anthony was a pleasant student. I'm just so grateful to the Lord for allowing me and allowing us the opportunity to come to know Anthony. Anthony did not allow any limitations to limit him. He lived by the phrase, I got this. Well, as you see right here, Anthony was somebody. Anthony will live forever. I spoke to Anthony's stepmother. She told me that she wanted the service to be perfect, and I feel that she got that perfect service here in Seminole Heights. I'm reporting here in Seminole Heights. Gabrielle Shirley, News Channel 8.